How's it going everybody? Lanticure here, and this is Tumble VR. Now, I got to play this game, but I never really showcased it. Um, again, this is just another puzzle game where you kind of stack blocks and you solve puzzles. It's, it's pretty neat, pretty complicated, but eventually, once you get the hang of it, it was an interesting game to look into. So they have a demo available for it that you can play uh, if you download the PlayStation VR Demo Disc 1 and you should be able to try this out, see what you guys think. It is available for purchase, but if you're unsure of yourself, this would be the recommended way to do it. But I'm here to show you guys what this DVR contain or what this VR demo contains. So let's check it out. To choose a panel, look at it and press move. All right, so this is Tumblr VR. This is the menu screen. That guy's gonna help you around. Think of him as another portal companion. Anyway, let's begin. Oh, what am I? Oh, looks like I'm using a move controller for this one. So yes, you can either use a DualShock controller or a move controller for this game. So we're gonna use the move controller. Simple tower. Instigating new test. Human test subject detected. Initiate test environment. Introduce test supervisor drone to the human test subject. Hello, I am the test supervisor drone. Okay. I will be conducting this test. All right. Please look to your right. Check. Please look to your left. Check. Okay. Whoop. Human test subject confirmed sentient. Please look down at the test control object. Check. Note that it is identical to the controller that you are holding in quotes real life. Uh, Close quotes. Well, thank you. Let me know. Try moving the controller around. Observe that the test control object follows your movement exactly. Check. If the controller moves outside the legal test area, then it will glow red and make an alert noise. Thank you for letting me know. Build platform. All right. Check. Initiate test object. This is a block. Thank you. Isn't it lovely? I guess. Pick up the block by aiming at it and holding the T button. Flip the controller left or right to rotate the block. You can also flip the controller up or down to rotate the block in that axis. Check. Human test subject just ace the block manipulation test. Basic. You must always build on top of a build platform. Okay. Alright, so I'll just put the block on here. Check. Build platform rules confirmed. Hold the move button to enter rotation mode. When holding the move button, move the controller left or right to rotate the tower. Nifty. You can also hold move and move the controller up and down to raise or lower the tower. Check. Smart cookie, huh? Encouraging comment given. To make the test more engaging for human test subjects, we have introduced progression motivator objects. These are called medals. Collect as many medals as you can. You don't have to collect them all. This is meant to be fun. Medals are fun. See if you can get the medal in this simple level. Alright. This should be simple, right? Alright, so here's all the blocks. All we're doing is just stacking. Now, here's another thing about this. This is also immersive regardless of something so simple. But the fact that you're picking up the blocks and just placing it 
you know, just stacking it is immersed even for the simplest things. The hand gesture is following your every movement of picking up an object and placing it there. Of course, everybody is waiting for all the optic feeds of, you know, gloves and vests and all that other stuff. But, you know, this is a start. It's a start. One more block. You got a gold medal. All right, so we go to the next level. Level two. Tower block. This is a build high level. The objective of this level is to build as high as you can using the blocks provided. Bronze, silver, and gold medals are available in increasing order of difficulty. All right, so in this game, they also have hidden blocks. To your right over there is a hidden block. Once you find the hidden block, it is added to your little pile, and they confirm that you find it. Each hidden block will automatically build into a puzzle set once you find it all in the full game. So, good luck on that. Alright, let's start building. this. Look at that. Simple toss, right? Now, just looking at this right now, just the fact that I'm just stacking it up the way I want to stack it up kind of gives you an interesting sense of balance and all that stuff in a VR world. And this is just stacking. I'm not saying it's easy. Trust me, it gets hard. Oh, now you're actually looking at balancing. Move on, if there is one. Oh yes, yeah, this one. Level three. Duck and cover. This is a destruction level. The objective is to knock the tower down and score as many points as possible. You have three mines to destroy the tower. Point at where you want to place a mine and press the T button. Alright, so with this one, they want you to stack each mine, and each mine does a. I always keep forgetting the word, but you know, a ripple effect. There we go. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Alright, so basically, once I stack at each one, now as you notice, there's a baseball on the very top. Uh, that would be considered a home run. If the ball makes it past the dotted lines, then and only then would be considered a home run. So with the amount of points that falls off of here and hits each one, we'll double the amount. So let's see what we can get. We're going to put one here, put one there, and we're going to put one there. So let's see what happens. Place all the mines. Press T to detonate them. Now it detonates in order of how you set it. So it goes it's gonna go from bottom to top. Each block you knock off the tower scores points depending on where it lands. The further your blocks get thrown, the more points you'll get. Basically as how he explained it. So that's literally my score. Which got me a bronze. Got a bronze medal. Thank you. 
So if you want to keep doing it again to get a higher score, you just keep doing it, try to place it in the right spot, and hopefully you'll get what you need. But let's keep moving on. This is a light level. The aim is to guide the laser beam through the light panels and into the light receptor unit. Use the mirrored blocks to redirect the beam. Alright, so just as he says, these are your mirrors. The fact that you can't see your own reflection though, but yet you can smack it against your face. Interesting. All I have to do is constantly flick. Light panels need the correct color beam to light them up. Then you just put the color right there. You need there. to light up all the colored panels. Direct the beam to the light receptor unit. There you go. It will get harder in the actual game. But that's literally everything in this demo. What do you guys think? Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave anything in the comments of any talk about this game if you're interested or have any questions on it. And subscribe for more contents for VR or just any games I might be interested in. And I hope to see you guys another time.